high. Blustering, arrogant former Chancellor Sheikh Nadim Zahawi, now chairman of the Conservative Party, has coughed up 1.3 million penalty for tax avoidance, although he claims it was carelessness rather than deliberate. <laughs> oh yeah. The amount he somehow forgot to pay is almost estimated to be about six million pounds. Considering Zahawi himself once held the post of Chancellor, it's all a bit rich, as indeed he is, having a personal fortune of at least one hundred million pounds. Greasy Sunak, when he held the position, was also revealed to be involved in a personal tax avoidance skullduggery with his wife through her non-dom status, saving uncountable millions, paying nothing at all into the exchequer. Between them, they're worth at least half a billion. Maybe they need the money they've avoided paying to the tax man. Previously, Zawari had form, this time, claiming parliamentary expenses for heating his horse's stables. Think about that, those on prepayment meters or living in darkness at this moment. All the other, at the other end of the majority of the social scale, if we make the slightest error on a benefit claim, be a couple of minutes late for an interview at the job centre, they come down on you like a ton of bricks. You could be sanctioned and denied benefits, thereby thrown into a situation that spirals into eviction and destitution. Meanwhile, Johnson is embroiled in yet another scandal involving the BBC chairman he appointed being involved shortly before assisting Johnson obtaining an £800,000 loan. This is also normalised. It hardly raises an eyebrow. Removing this government by a general election will not resolve any of this institutionalised corruption. It will just result in another set of snouts in the trough. The system is unreformed and unreformable. We've allowed them to get away with it, voting for them. How much longer can this farce continue? The whole edifice is visibly crumbling, but we've com we're completely unwilling to step in and overthrow them and take control ourselves, and frightened of our own possibilities and class power and numbers. Maybe we get the governments we deserve due to our inaction and passive acceptance. Until that is, we finally hit the streets in an insurgent mood. Bye.